Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft's Edge Bar, which is available both in the stable version, and yeah, on the left, this is what the Edge Bar looks like, as many of you know, in the stable version. And this is what the Edge Bar is currently looking like in Edge Canary, which is a preview version of the browser uh, that Microsoft is testing. And this uh, version of the Edge Bar is very similar to the new desktop search bar that Microsoft has started testing in the dev channel in the Windows 11 Insider program. Now, this is just a quick video to let you know that there's been a, bit, a couple of more developments regarding the Edge Bar. And if, in case you are unaware, uh, the Edge Bars let you search and browse the web, see news headlines, check the weather, and more without opening a full browser window. And um, I have posted numerous videos on this channel regarding the Edge Bar, so I'm not going to get too much into what the Edge Bar does in this video and is all about. You can just do a search if you are unaware on this channel to get more information. But this is just a quick video to let you know that um, I have spotted recently two new shortcuts that are now available uh, in the Start menu for the Edge Bar, both for the Stable version and Edge Canary. Now, this is only appearing at this stage on my Windows 10 device, so it looks like it's on a controlled rollout. And um, and at this stage, if you click on the the uh, Start Menu shortcut, it's not opening the Edge Bar if your browsers are closed. So your browsers need to be um, running in the background. They need to be open at this stage for these shortcuts to work. So if I just close uh, the Edge Bars quickly for both Canary and the Stable version, you see I have both browsers open, I have Canary open, and I have the stable version open. And if we just head back to those shortcuts, if I click now, it opens the Edge Bar directly from the Start menu, where previously that was not available. And that's for the stable version. And if we head back and we open up the Edge Bar for uh, Edge Canary, that opens up uh, the uh, Edge Bar for Canary. So I just want to let you know, in case you've been following this feature, which Microsoft is... Um, seem to be um, is seeming to be giving a lot of attention recently and uh, two shortcuts now available on my windows 10 device one to open the edge bar in the stable version and one to open the edge bar in edge canary and just wanted to let you know in case you were interested so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one